Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. On today's episode, we're going to show how to download FreeBSD. So, first things first, is we're going to open up our web browser of choice. This works in Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, any of them really, it doesn't matter. So, after that, we want to go to our favorite search engine, and we want to type FreeBSD, all one word, hit enter, and click on the FreeBSD project link. Once we arrive here, we're going to click on the yellow Download FreeBSD link. And now we're going to scroll down until we see the first mention of FreeBSD and then whatever version release. In this case, it is FreeBSD 11.1, but if you're watching this video in the future, that will change. So, we're going to go ahead and under Installer Images, these are for all the different CPUs that are in computers, most of them anyway. Um, the two we're concerned with are AMD64 and i3D6. AMD64 is for the more modern 64-bit processors, whereas the i386 is for older 32-bit processors. Now, what I recommend when you're first starting out is to download the i386 image. Now, that's because even if you have a 64-bit processor, a 32-bit image will still run on it. But the opposite isn't true. If you have a 32-bit processor, a 64-bit image won't run on it. So when you're first learning and getting started, download the i386. So all we got to do is tap that link. And once we're here, the ones we're concerned with our FreeBSD 11.1 release i386 disk 1.iso and the FreeBSD 11.1 release the memstick.img now the iso is meant to be downloaded and burnt to a CD or a DVD and then you would boot your computer with it and then install FreeBSD off from the disk Whereas the FreeBSD 11.1 release, memstick.img, is meant to be downloaded and wrote to a USB stick, where then you boot your computer off of that stick and then install from there. Now, most computers built in the last 8 to 10 years will boot off USB stick, so if your computer does and it's newer, feel free to download the memstick image, but for best compatibility, we'll download disk1.iso. Tap it. Make sure save file is selected, and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And up here in the top, we'll see our progress of the download. And when that's done, we'll go ahead and burn that to a disk. And then we would go into our BIOS and change the boot order to boot off a CD or DVD first. And then you'd boot that up, and then just follow the instructions to install it. So, with all of that, I am Tyler with T-Tech. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and have a nice day.